All right, guys, welcome back to the Cold Pizza Review Channel. Today, I got a little bad news for everyone. Not really bad news, but just want to let you know, your Rolex will get scratched. You want to know why? Hold tight. All right, welcome back. I want to talk about why your Rolex is going to get scratched no matter what you do unless you make it a safe clean and never wear it. I'm going on almost two years with my Oyster Perpetual. This is 2021. It was brand new. Not one scratch on it. I wear the watch three to four times a week. I don't do any kind of manual labor with it. Mostly like in a business setting, driving, traveling. Always taken care of. If I take the watch off, it'll either sit in a caddy like this, or when I travel, I always put the watch in a travel case. You can see, always protected, always well taken care of. I never abuse the watch, but that said, and this is the Oyster, you're gonna get scratches. And honestly, I don't even remember how they got there or when they appear. You see the clasp. Let's see the polished area. Wipe this off. I know these aren't terrible. The watch isn't that old, but one of the things that I see people commenting the most about on Rolex forums is they get upset when they see a scratch on their watch. And I understand you'd love to keep it perfect, but I'm usually wearing dress clothes. If I go do any kind of uh, labor, it's, it's coming off my wrist and it's getting put away. You know, this is always like driving or business type environment. What's even weird is look at the back has gotten scratched and I don't know, I don't ever let the bracelet flop against the back, but there's scratches on the back. I always have something in between the bracelet and the case back, but now I've got, you see around the bezel, I don't even remember how that happened. And I take really good care of the watch. I've got a lot of other watches and you tend to get some surface wear. It's just normal. But I really want to put everybody at ease. If you think you're going to keep your Rolex pristine and the way you wear it, that you're never going to get a scratch on it. I don't want you to be stressed out when you see a nick on the edge. I mean, I think this is just daily wear. I mean, I'm not doing anything in a rough environment. These are just surface abrasions that occur. I mean, you look, if you just look where the easy link system is, the bracelet just naturally rubs right there. Again, I don't want people to be stressed because you're going to, it's going to wear like a watch should. Granted, I don't say, I wouldn't recommend you start uh, hammering drywall and wearing your Rolex or paint your house or um, do anything strenuous with your watch but just really careful daily wear, you're gonna get scratches. And a lot of times you're not gonna even know why they're there. And I thought with the Oyster bracelet, they wouldn't be as bad and they're not, but I mean, I don't even know how that happened right there, how these little nicks occur. The other thing is I would recommend don't try to polish them out yourself on a Rolex. I'm leaving them. And when it gets serviced, they will clean this up. They'll 
work on the bracelet. Rolex will fix all of that. So don't be stressed. You know, this wear is just gonna add some character to it if you choose not to have that polished out. But I know when I put it in for the five year service, I'm gonna request the polish. So you're gonna get wear and tear on it. Again, I have a leather caddy here. If I just sit it down and then I'm gonna pick it right back up in the bedroom, that's where it sits just like that. Traveling, this is a Mirage single case and I also have another um, smaller case in my truck that I put in as well. If I get out and I've gotta go turn a wrench or do some work, it's right off my wrist. Just letting you know it's unavoidable. And this is almost two years. I think I'm three months shy of two years. I mean, I have no idea how any of that happens. So just to put you at ease, if you're getting little nicks and scratches on the steel, don't stress about it. Just leave it alone. Take care of your watch. Don't go mixing concrete with your hand and get, get stuff in the bracelet. I rinse it in warm water. I use a toothbrush and run over any areas, but I keep it so clean. I use a, um, this is, um, I think this is lamb skin or this is a chamois that I got. It's actually leather. Forget the skin. It's, it might be lamb. I'm not sure. But that's basically the cleaning that I do with the watch. Run this over it. This is really soft leather. I think it's one of the best cleaning cloths. I wipe it down with that, put it away. When the watch gets worn, just let you know. Don't get upset. It's the way it is. I was just noticing that the other day. I thought, man, where are these little nicks coming from? I'm not doing anything. I'm even on the, the this part. I mean, how is there scratches appearing there? And again, it was brand new, nothing. But it is what it is. Don't cry about it. That's what it's going to look like after about two years, guys. And even it's going to be even worse if you have the polished clasp. So maybe make you feel better if yours is starting to look a little worn. That's just the way it goes. Hey, if, you, if you've got any questions, um, any comments, as always, I appreciate you tuning in to Cold Pizza Watch Reviews. Leave them below. Thanks.